Hey everybody, Crazy Cosmo here, back with episode 6 of Why It Was It Cancelled. Today we're going to talk about Terra Nova, which ran for one season on the Fox Network in 2011. The show starred Stephen Lang of Avatar fame, Jason O'Mara, and was executive produced by Steven Spielberg. The plot of the show was simple. Humanity has finally, completely, and utterly removed all resources from Earth and decides it's time to find somewhere else, which point they discover a portal that leads back to prehistoric Earth, and they send several different voyages back to start figuring out if they can actually live there. The show advertised an extremely cinematic look, which it had, however that meant that the sets had to be built in their entirety. It also meant that they went for more expensive and highly detailed effects, and the cost of the show reflected that. It's estimated that the pilot for Terra Nova cost $10 million for just the pilot itself. To give a bit of context, $10 million an episode was the price tag given to the final season of Friends once the actors had all gotten famous enough to command a huge paycheck. Now, after such a huge pilot budget, you might think the show would have decided to ramp things down a little bit. And sure, they did, down to a paltry $4 million an episode for the final 12. To do the math, at $10 million for the pilot and $4 million an episode for 12 episodes after, that's $58 million for one season, and not even a full season, only 13 episodes. Now, even though it had solid numbers for its whole first season, Terra Nova did not make the kind of ratings that Lost did, which is what Fox was hoping for when they put so much money into the series. Those in the know saw the writing on the wall after the pilot aired when Fox literally made a statement saying, we're not sure if we're making a season two. See, Fox realized that with where the show ended, it wasn't going to get any less expensive moving forward. Meaning that they simply weren't willing to make the investment to continue with a show that just wasn't making its money back. Hope was revived shortly of seeing a season two when Netflix expressed interest. They intended to move the production from Australia to Hawaii to try and cut down on costs and make it more friendly to produce. Ultimately, however, they decided to pass on the franchise and it faded into obscurity after just one season. However, with the digital medium of today and the approachability of many of the visual effects that were so expensive 10 years ago, I firmly believe that Terra Nova could make a comeback today, and with where it was left, well, I think it would make for a very interesting continuance, even all these years later. Crazy Cosmo, signing off.